So when I was about 21 years old, I, um, I gave my life to Christ and um, I wish I could say that my life was perfect after that, that I didn't struggle, but I still did because I was trying to live um, worldly and then still do this church thing on the weekends. So that, that was just a battle that I was going through. And I just remember one night I got invited to, to play volleyball with, with a group of people and not even my friends, just, just a group of people that were, were at my old church. And um, I just remember meeting this guy that, that there was something different about him and like we just connected right away. And I remember he just extended the invitation to, to the shore. Um, he was a pastor there and he said, hey, we, we have church at uh, Brookside Middle School. Um, you know, they just set up there and they just come check it out. And I said, hey, I got nothing to lose, right? I'm just gonna go there, um, check it out and, and see if, if this is where I belong. And I just remember the first time walking into that cafetorium and I just felt something different. I, I felt like I belong there. I felt like this is where I needed to be. It was just because it was such a life-giving atmosphere. Um, there was no judgment. Um, people were just happy to be at church and that's not what I grew up with. So it, it really changed me from, from that point on. So we, we, came, we came to know about the shore through a friend. Um, he, he told me that like, hey, uh, there's a church that's hosting a men's event at this elementary school. And I, I was like, oh, cool. And then he said that like, they're serving steak. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be there. You know, so that's kind of how we kind of ended up. And right when I showed up to the men's event, you know, everybody that were there, we were like, hey, good to see you. I, I've never seen you here before. Good to meet you. My name is such and such. My name is such and such. And we did a lot of like, you know, we did play some basketball, play some cornhole, play some putt putt golf and stuff like that. And everybody there, like, wanted to get to know me. And be like, I'm like, who am I? Like, you guys wanted to get to know me. Like, I was like, I'm just, I'm just here. I mean, I'm here for the stake, you know. And but, you know, I got to meet all of them. I met TJ. I met Ty. I met Jerry, Corey. Everybody, all the men of the short church that were, were there. And but I didn't know it was the short church. And it just so happens it was on a Saturday. And then that Sunday we were kind of looking for churches to attend. And we were like, oh, we're gonna go visit the short church this Sunday. I showed up and I can't imagine the look on your face. You're like, everybody there just knew me. I'm like, oh, this is the church that hosted that event. Yeah, so I walk in and then everyone's like, hey Hong, hey Hong, hey Hong. I'm like, what the? <laughs> So it was really cool though, right from the get-go it seemed as if um, we were like, okay, this is this is the place. It, was, it, yeah. it felt like family from the yeah. very, very beginning. And it seems like everybody, that's how they treated every single newcomer. And that was something that we were both never, rarely ever experienced. So, and then we, we, we went to different churches the next week and all of a sudden, you know, we, we find ourselves coming back because we love that community that there was at the, at the shore. So after getting involved at the shore and, and serving um, and just getting to know people there, um, I, I started building relationships and, and building these friendships with, with um, guys that, that I knew were, were good for me, that I knew were good influences in my life. And I just remember being invited to an art conference and uh, it was it changed my life forever you know these just it really did and I just remember coming back home and I missed church that following Sunday because I was just tired and I was just lazy to be honest with you I didn't want to go um, and I just remember my friend reaching out to me and just asking me to go out for for coffee and I remember at the time I was like oh dang you know like um, he, he's gonna be frustrated, he's gonna be mad, he's gonna ask me where I was, but you know, he, he was my friend, so I, I, I said yes. So I just remember going to Starbucks, and when we sat down, um, it, was, it was just so different because he didn't ask me where I was or why wasn't I there or just judging me or, or condemning me. He just asked, how are you doing? Like, no, no, how is Ty the person doing? You know, and, and that just really spoke to my heart because he really cared for me as a person. Not as someone that was serving or not someone that was helping the church grow, but me as Ty. How was I doing? And I really think that impacted my life in a way that I can't explain to this day. But um, it, it just really 
a moment in my life where, where it clicked that community was very important and it's the right type of community that's important. I think Hong had a, a family that was more plugged in to community, whereas in my, my household it was more so um, every once in a while we'd go to church, so we never really established community. So I think when I started dating Hong, I saw the community that his church had, and I was like, oh, I want that. Um, so I think that's kind of what really instilled us to, when we first moved here to Sarasota, um, to really want to find community and, and kind of find that, or at least for me. Um, that's, I was like, oh, I want, I want what his family had. So after I got coffee with my friends, something really just changed in my life, and my whole perspective on community was different. Um, it was it was not what I experienced when I was young. It wasn't dysfunctional. It was it was you know loving. It was caring. It was holding each other accountable. It was helping each other grow. And I think for me, um, starting a small group was was very key in in my life also because um, it, I got around people that were like-minded individuals, um, same age group, and we're just going through the same thing you know, the same season in life and we would talk each, with each other what our struggles were, what, what we want to be, what we want our careers to be and just really sifting through all that helped me so much because we just became closer. There was a trust factor there and um, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Well, I can honestly say that because of the shore and the community and the relationships that we've been able to build here, um, that's the reason why we're wanting to stay in Sarasota. We have, we are just so blessed and so lucky to know that um, there are people who actually care for us. Um, yes, I love my job, yes, I love all these other things, but it's definitely the, the friends and the relationships that we've established here um, that, that'll for sure keep us here. Yes, I would say that relationships are so essential to like one's growth, because if you don't have someone that you can truly connect with on an intimate level, um, you're going to feel empty, you're going to feel like something's missing. And I think that's the same feeling um, that you get if you don't know Christ, right? So I think when you're able to build a relationship with someone, they can actually kind of see your hurt, see the wounds, and naturally allow them um, to become scars and allow them to, to heal over time, mm -hmm. um, just like Christ can do. Yeah, it makes, it makes the hurt less and it makes the joy amplify. Mm. So, so there's one phrase that we always say here at the shore is don't do life alone and, and we truly believe that um, life change happens in the context of small groups and, and that's what happened with me and I know if it can happen with me, it can happen with you, it can happen with that person walking into to this church for the first time is that if they get into a small group, if they get into to a group where, where there's people that are encouraging them, people that are praying for them. I mean, man, that's you can you can work with that. And, and I believe that if you just invest in that, and if you just take the time to get to know your group members, take the time to go to coffee with someone, get the time to just take off your mask and really let someone in into your life, that your life is gonna change forever.